Hi guys, so today I'm just going to basically show you my 2017 Panther Palette uh, palette. So basically I've decided to actually commit myself to do a Panther Palette this year. Last year I tried, but like the first month I kind of gave up. I did not pick a good palette that time though. <laughs> that palette had like dark browns and blues, neither of which I use all that much of. So this year I'm doing the Bare Minerals Colorista palette. This was the first palette I ever reviewed. Um, this must have been a couple years old now. Um, basically I love the eyeshadow shades. This is sort of a pinkish um skin tone. This actually almost perfectly matches my skin tone, so I might use that as a foundation shade or something. You know, maybe to touch up the side of my nose or whatnot. This uh the oh my god. Bragging Rights is a coppery shade. I don't honestly like coppers all that much, so I probably won't use this as much. I love this lilac and gray shade. Now, the gray shade, which is priceless, is considered by some to be the least, uh, shall we say, nice shade in the palette, but I like it. It creates a really nice base, and I just put this lilac shade onto the inner corners of my eyes. Love this color, but as you can tell, I've barely put a dip in it. I love the gold um, hoopla, and I love the brown ritzy. They are gorgeous shades. They're beautiful. They're awesome. The gold is a bit much for everyday wear, um, and but the brown is like perfect. It's great for a little smoky or whatever. Um, if you have watched the video, um, my original review, then you know that I consider the blush way too light for me. It's this light peachish color. Is honestly literally lighter than my skin tone in the summer. The highlight is okay, but to be honest, not really remarkable. I um I prefer my Clinique highlight, and the bronzer is way too orange for me. Way too orange. Um, I mean, it might work well as an actual bronzer, but I prefer to slightly contour more than bronze all over my face. So I will really be focusing mostly on the eyeshadows, especially these four that I know I love. Um, the coppers and pink eyeshadows tend to make me look sickly. So I'm, we'll see, but really I'm going to mostly focus on these four eyeshadows. Um, based on, you know, Brightest Bulb in the Box and um, a couple other sources. It seems like just the amount of eyeshadow powder in here is going to last me a whole year if I use nothing else. And you know I'm going to cheat and use other things. Now I'll also be using this. This is my original Clinique uh, Colorista palette. Um, now these are, these bigger pans are originally from that palette, the little one. Uh, that's just a random one I depotted. This is an Estee Lauder taupe that I really like. I've actually repressed it two or three times now. And as you can tell, I've hit pan again. So this will be gone real soon. Um, eyeliner, eyeliner, uh, lip glosses. The lip glosses get used up really quickly. Um, now, uh, this is actually the Winwell Comfort Zone. Um, that nice dual chrome color. I was so excited to get it. I came home, had trouble opening it because it was a really stubborn lid. It fell onto the bathroom floor and shattered. So I managed to say, well, I managed to save what I could and repressed it into the round pan. And now it sits here. These two I use for my eyebrow. This is technically an eyeliner, but I'll dip my brush into the uh, brown eyeshadow and then dip off the axis, pick up a little bit of the uh, eyeliner, and it goes in my brows. It's a dream. It's amazing. I'll be focusing mostly on this shade and these two for the Panda palette. Hopefully, though, I won't actually use up my brow shade because then I'll have to find another pair uh, that works for brows. But this one, really excited to use this up. And, of course, the lip glosses, I'm anticipating using those up really quickly. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Please hit subscribe and like if you like this video. And uh, please stay posted for more videos.